welcome back to my recorded classes today we are uh, doing one tutorial uh, from topic 1.1 up to 3.2 uh, from the course mathematics for it uh, this will help you for uh, preparing for your uh, exam especially uh, midterm examination so this topic included 1.1 up to 3.2 some previous uh, question paper related questions okay so before starting all of you please subscribe my channel uh, for getting more classes more recorded classes from this course okay let's start the topic so these are the topics we are discussing uh, this examination tutorial 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 5, 6. That means the first chapter, uh, 1.7 including. And 2.1, 2.2 means second chapter. And 3.1, 3.2 from third chapter. Okay, so let's start the first question. Part A. Actually, this tutorial we are uh, discussing as like three parts. First part we have like uh, MCQ, multiple choice questions, fill in the blanks, like small questions, okay. Then short answer type questions we will discuss in part B. Then long answer type we will discuss in the part C, okay. So first question, find the characteristic, find the characteristic C. Using a 64 bit decimal number 643 with Mandisa F equal to 2 power minus 3 plus 2 power minus 8 plus 2 power minus 9. Find the characteristic. Okay. So, this is the question from 1.2 section. Find the characteristic. C value we need to calculate and we need to write here what is that C number. Okay. So, this question you remember just start from the rule what we are studied in 1.2 section. Decimal number equal minus 1 power s multiply 2 power c minus 1023 multiply 1 plus f okay now whatever the number given in the question we just substitute decimal number is given in the question it is 643 so 643 equals minus 1 power s what will be the s number because here decimal number is 643 correct 643 means this number is a positive number correct number positive means what will be the decimal uh, sorry s number we are getting equal to zero correct number positive means it will be zero s value and number negative means s equal to one here so s equal to zero here because number is positive multiply two power c value we need to calculate c minus 1023 multiply 1 plus f number f number means 2 power minus 2 plus 2 power minus 8 plus 2 power minus 9 okay if you are changing that into decimal you will get 0 0.25589375 okay you can just enter in your calculator you will get this number okay 2 power minus 2 plus 2 power minus 8 plus 2 power minus 9 means this number. Now we are going to simplify this one equals 643 equals okay minus 1 power 0. As I told you minus 1 power 0 means okay this meaning is positive. No need to enter in your calculator. Meaning is positive. Number is positive. Now multiply 2 power C minus 1023 multiply 1 plus that number is 1 point two five five eight five nine three seven five okay we can just uh, calculate now both side we divide by this number one point two five five two five five eight five nine three seven five because we need to cancel that number then only we will get to C number so both side we divide by same number 8593375 okay now so this number will be cancelled here these two number so right side become 2 power c minus 1023 okay positive sign if you are writing or not writing no problem so 2 power c minus 1023 
now left side if you are calculating 643 divided by 1.25585375 uh, you will get it equal to 512 512 okay now as we discussed in our class okay 512 we are writing in 2 power so we will get 2 power 9 equals 2 power c minus 1023 correct 2 power 9 equal 2 power c minus 1023 because 512 you can check by calculator okay it become 2 power 9 now both are base same here base 2 here also base 2 so just to take the powers only so how can we get it 9 equals c minus 1023 only we are taking the power base are same correct so from this we can get it what is the c number c equal minus 1023 take to next side it become plus 1023 so we can get it 1023 plus 9 correct so c becomes equal to you can check it that means uh, c equal to 1000 you can check by calculator 1023 plus 9 1032 correct 1032 c value equal so this is the characteristic part uh, from our question so we can write the answer here at last c equal to 1032 i hope you understood this question okay move on to the next question now <coughs> second question find an upper bound for the error upper bound for the error r2 of 1.15 of the tyler polynomial p2 of x for the function f of x equal to is given f of x f of x equal to x power 2 minus sin x okay about x naught equal to 1 x naught number is given x naught equal to 1 rule already given there r n x equal to absolute f n plus 1 of c divided by n plus 1 factorial x minus x naught power n plus 1 okay which answer okay there it is multiple choice question which answer you can select after okay so uh, let's start with the rule r n x equals absolute f n plus 1 n plus 1 the derivative at c divided by n plus 1 factorial multiply x minus x naught power n plus 1 correct absolute where c number belongs to x naught comma x now what is our question we need to find r2 of 1.15 okay so r2 of 1.15 equal what is the meaning of that one meaning is n number is 2 correct n number is given n number is 2 you can write on the side n number equal to 2 and what about the x number x number is 1.15 1.15 okay so i can just apply here so r2 of 1.15 equal absolute of f n plus 1 n is 2 so n plus 1 means 2 plus 1 that is 3 of c divided by n plus 1 factorial means 3 factorial x number 1.15 minus x naught number that is 1 power n plus 1 n plus 1 means 3 correct n plus 1 means it is 3 where c is a number belongs to x naught number to x number x naught number is 1 and x number is 1.15 you can just note that correct now we need to calculate that f3 of c okay that means f3 of c means third derivative of the function so f of x means x power 2 minus sin x what is the first derivative getting f dash of x equal x power 2 derivative 2x minus sin x derivative cosine x correct now f double dash of x the second derivative equals 2x derivative is 2 minus cosine x derivative is minus sin x correct so what will be that one 2 minus minus it become 2 plus sin x 2 plus sin x now we will find the third derivative f3 of x equal see i am writing power 3 power 3 means third derivative okay so f3 of x equal to 2 derivative 0 no need to write sin x derivative cosine of x correct so f third derivative is cosine of x now in the third derivative instead of x just substitute c 
so how can i write this one cosine of c correct because f third derivative at c instead of x we need to write to c so apply here equal to absolute of f3 of c means cosine of c divided by 3 factorial multiply x 1.15 minus 1 means 0 0.15 power 3 absolute correct now this one enter your calculator as you as i told you before this one you need to enter in your calculator cosine c divided by 3 factorial 0 0.5 divided uh, power 3 if you want c you need to press alpha button and c button correct alpha button where is the c number coming you know alpha hype h y p hype shift button where what we are sorry absolute switch we are what we are using shift hype correct so apply this one after that just press the calc button calculation button calculation at first c number c number means x naught to 2 x x naught means 1 so calc 1 equal to you will get one number after that you press again calculation calc at the number 1.15 1.15 equal to correct because x number and x naught number x naught number is 1 and x number is 1.15 so once you enter in your calculator and press calc button you will get three digits rounding okay here it is given in question three digits rounding so calc 1.15 means you will get 2.30 multiply 10 power minus 4 okay and if you are pressing calc 1 you will get 3.04 multiply 10 power minus 4 10 power minus 4 correct now out of these two which is the big number select that is the upper bound for the error out of this which is the big number is coming 3.04 because both are 10 power minus 4 correct 2.30 multiply 10 power minus 4 3.04 multiply 10 power minus 4 so both are 10 power minus 4 same so here only we need to check 3.04 here 2.30 small number so this will be the upper bound okay this will be the upper bound for the error this is the lower bound correct small value is calling lower bound for the error so we can write the answer we can select the answer what is the correct answer correct answer becomes 3.04 multiply 10 power minus 4 this is the correct answer 3.04 multiply 10 power minus 4 i hope you understood okay you can refer my recorded classes before we discuss it okay how to enter this in calculator okay calc button how we are using you can check it in the recorded classes okay now we are going to the third question third question suppose p star must approximate p with relative error 10 power minus 3 at most relative error at most means less than or equal to 10 power minus 3 relative error less than or equal to 10 power minus 3 find the largest interval largest interval you remember what is the meaning interval correct we need to find the minimum of p star and we need to find the maximum value of the p star correct mean p star maximum p star minimum which p star must lie with p equal to pi by 3 okay p equal to original number exact number is given pi by 3 so we will start from the rule relative error less than or equal to 10 power minus 3 now what is relative error absolute p star minus p divided by absolute to p less than or equal to 10 power minus 3 correct now just apply the p number here in our question so absolute p star here p star we are writing first as you remember because we need to find p star value so first write p star p star minus p number is what pi by 3 divided by absolute of p number is pi by 3 less than or equal to 10 power minus 3 now pi by 3 means it is a positive number correct so absolute pi by 3 means that will be a positive number so no need that absolute symbol so delete absolute symbol and pi by 3 cross multiply to next side so absolute of p star minus pi by 3 less than or equal to 
pi by 3 no need that absolute symbol because pi by 3 is a positive number multiply 10 power minus 3 multiply 10 power minus 3 now we need to delete this absolute symbol so we are writing only p star minus pi by 3 okay both side when you are deleting absolute symbol put less than or equal to on both side less than or equal to now this number pi by 3 multiply 10 power minus 3 positive write on the maximum part here plus pi by 3 multiply 10 power minus 3 correct positive negative we are writing minimum part minus pi by 3 multiply 10 power minus 3 should be in bracket when you are writing so plus pi by 3 multiply 10 power minus 3 minus pi by 3 multiply 10 power minus 3 now what we do next step this minus pi by 3 take to the right side and left side also because it is an inequality so if you are taking one side next side also we need to compensate so p star less than or equal to okay minus pi by 3 going to right side means plus pi by 3 all other terms same plus put bracket pi by 3 multiply 10 power minus 3 same way minus pi by 3 take to the left side also so plus pi by 3 all other terms same minus put bracket pi by 3 multiply 10 power minus 3 okay now you can use your calculator you will get what is p star maximum value and minimum value p star less than or equal to first we are entering to the calculator the first part that means this one pi by 3 plus pi by 3 multiply 10 power minus 3 after that this one you can enter so that you are getting minimum and maximum so what will be the number you can check it 1.04824 double four seven four nine minimum side you will get 1.04615 okay so this is the p star interval this is the maximum value of p star and this is the minimum value of p star okay so you can check the answer here what will be the correct one the first answer is the correct one this is the correct answer correct choice correct so I hope you understood this question. Now we will go to the fourth question now. Okay, what is the first two, fourth question? Can we choose P0 equal to 4 as initial approximation in Newton's method to find a root of the equation f of x equal to one equation is given f of x equal to x power 3 minus 6x power 2 plus 7 equal to 0. Correct? Can we choose P0 equal to 4? That is the question as initial approximation okay by newton's method what was the condition you remember what we do just to find the derivative f dash of x what is f dash of x x power 3 derivative 3 x power 2 minus 6 x square derivative 12 x because 2 multiply 6 is 12 x plus 7 derivative 0 correct this is the derivative f dash of x now what we will do just apply p0 number here p0 number just apply here correct p0 is what p0 is 4 so f dash value at p0 number just apply f dash value at p0 number so 3 multiply p0 means what is the number 4 so x replace as 4 so 3 multiply 4 power 2 minus 12 multiply 4 check what is the answer uh, in calculator you will get 0 correct f dash of p0 equal to 0 now you can write the answer can we write f p0 this number no because what is the reason we cannot use this number because what is the condition because f dash of p0 always it should be not equal to 0 if derivative 0 newton's method we cannot use correct so f dash p0 always it should be not equal to 0 but here we got equal to 0 so this initial approximation value is not possible okay so answer is no we cannot use the initial approximation as the number four okay now we will go to the question number five use three digits rounding evaluate f value at 4.78 okay we need to calculate f value at 4.78 use three digits rounding 
okay so just to substitute in f of x okay so f of x equal to len of x number is 4.78 plus 1 okay plus sin of x number is 4.78 plus 1 plus 1 over 2 power 4.78 okay now calculation we will do separately first we check what is this number using three digits rounding then we will check what is this number using three digits rounding after that this number using three digits rounding correct so we will start equals okay len of 4.78 plus 1 okay you will get three digits rounding as 1.75 check your calculator plus sin 4.78 plus 1 means you will get minus 0.482 make sure your calculator should be in radian mode plus 1 over 2.478 you will get 0.0364 using three digits rounding the first zero you know 0 is not counting first 0 so 3 is the first digit 6 is the second digit 4 is the third digit correct as per rounding now first we need to simplify the bracketed term this term first we simplify okay so what we will get equal to 1.75 minus 0.482 you will get 1 point okay 1.27 now plus next number same 0 0.0364 okay so totally what answer you will get equal to 1.31 using three digits rounding 1.31 as you know this is the approximate value correct p star value because if you are using rounding and chopping rounding or chopping that number is approximate number so 1.31 three one is the correct answer you need to fill in that blank in the question so one point three one i hope you understood now we will go to the next question now we are starting part b part b means short answer type question okay this question you can see a part b part c part is there one plus two plus one marks four mark is there so what is the first question show that the equation minus 4 plus root of x power 2 minus 5x plus 6 has a root in 6 comma 7 this is the a number this is the b number a number is 6 b number is 7 show that an equation having only has a root in the interval 6 7 how can we do that one a root is in between 6 and 7 or not just to calculate what is f of a and f of b if you are getting opposite sign there is a root in between the number 6 and 7 so i can show you in the next page so a part of the question first first we are calculating what is f of a value then f of b value you know how to calculate this one first enter this equation in your calculator minus 4 plus root of x power 2 minus 5x plus 6 after that press the calc button 6 number then calc button 7 button correct so you will get f of a equals minus 0 0.536 using three digits rounding and the second one f of b seven number when you are substituting you will get 0 0.472 okay that means what is the meaning the first number is a negative number second number is a positive number correct f of a is negative f of b is positive okay and keep in your mind there is no importance this number only we are checking positive or negative okay so first number we will get a negative second number we will get positive what is the meaning we are getting here opposite sign correct we are getting here opposite sign if you are getting opposite sign what is the meaning there is a root in the interval there is a root in the interval 6 and 7 a and b a and b means 6 comma 7 so this is the first part of the question okay there is a root in between the number a and b that means 6 and 7 so i hope you understood now b part use bisection method find the first three approximation of the solutions of the equation so first part we did first we are checked location correct or not correct 
Now, here we need to calculate what is P1, what is P2 and what is P3. P2 equal and P3 equal. This is the second part of the question. So, now we will start this second part of the question. Okay. So, N means 1, 2 and 3. First approximation, second approximation and third approximation. P1, P2 and P3. So, let us start the question. Okay. What is the question? From 6 to 7. So, I am just putting a line on the top for your understanding. Okay. This is the A number. This is the B number. What is our A number? A number is 6. What is our B number? B number is 7. Okay. Now, what is a 4 phase sign we got? Just now we did. A 4 phase sign is negative. A 4 B sign is positive. Correct. So, a 4 phase here I am writing negative. A 4 B I am writing positive. Okay. So, start first approximation. 6 and 7. 6 and 7. Now, take the P number. What is the P number rule? A plus B divided by 2. A number plus B number divided by 2. 6 plus 7 divided by 2. You will get 6.5. 6.5. Okay. Now, apply this 6.5 in F of P. Just apply in F of P. What is F of P? F of X minus 4 plus root of X power 2 minus 5X plus 6. It is already there in your calculator. Correct? This one. Okay, now what you will do, just press calc button, you know that one, I already explained to you, you can check by previous recordings, press the calc button, 6.5, 6.5 equal to, check what is the sign you are getting, you will get minus 0.0314, correct, minus 0.0314, I am taking 3 digits rounding, that number is negative, correct, that number is a negative number. Negative means that sign you can put it here, only negative. Don't no need to write that number. Okay, number if you are writing it will confuse. So, only write the sign of the number, negative number. Correct? Now, now first approximation we done. Now, this one we just mark on this number line top. So, 6 and 7 middle, you will get 6.5 here. Correct? What is the sign you are getting there? Negative. So, here I am putting negative. Okay. Now, take the opposite sign interval. See, for example, first sign negative, A side. Second also negative. So, this interval do not take. Delete. Now, second one. Negative and positive here. Correct? 6.5, negative, 7, positive. So, we can take because it is opposite sign. So, I can write here second approximation okay as 6.5 up to 7 6.5 up to 7 so i am doing here it is equal to 6.5 and 7 i hope you understood why we are taken uh, that one uh, as the uh, 6.5 and 7 because opposite sign it should be it should be opposite sign so here we are getting 6.5 uh, negative sign we got and 7 we have positive sign now again take the middle of these two number what we will do 6.5 plus 7 divided by 2 correct use three digits rounding 6.75 you will get 6.75 correct i hope all of you getting now this number you can just enter in your calculator all of you check by calculator okay minus 4 uh, plus root of x power 2 minus 5 x plus 6 okay you can press the calc button the same equation already there in your calculator calc button calc 6.75 press equal to calc 6.75 equal to okay so what will get it equal to 0 0.220 you will get this number 0 0.220 correct so that means that number is a positive number so you can write here plus sign positive number i hope you understood okay second approximation so now we will go to the third approximation third approximation means we need to mark first here 6.5 and 7 
we got 6.75 what is the sign we are getting sign we are getting positive sign correct positive so which interval we will take which interval we are deleting so see here positive one positive we don't want negative one positive we needed what is negative one positive 6.5 and 6.75 correct so we can take the middle now 6.75 plus 6.5 divided by 2 correct what is that number using three digits rounding we will get 6.63 okay only just rounding now again this number you can apply here in f of x so press the calc button calc button and this number 6.63 press equal to okay it is there already in your calculator so you can press calc button 6.63 equal to you will get the number 0 0.0996 correct that means this number is a positive number so you can write here positive so we go to what is p1 what is p2 and what is p3 okay so if you want i will show that one what we did in the steps okay so first we are started with a number and b number a number is 6 b number is 7 okay so first we calculated f of a f of a is negative so here we are putting negative f of b here we have positive so here we are getting positive then we find the middle 6.5 6.5 what was the sign negative sign correct so here negative now after that one interval we will delete because here negative here negative negative to negative part we are deleting negative to positive this part we are taking correct so next 6.5 and b is 7 middle we are finding correct 6.5 and 7 middle that is what we did here 6.75 we got and we checked what is the sign there what is the sign positive sign we got so here positive correct that means see here negative here positive here positive correct so positive to positive we don't want we are deleting so we are taken 6.5 and 6.75 this interval correct again we are taken the middle of these two number 6.5 plus 6.75 divided by 2 6.63 here correct 6.63 i hope you understood how we are calculated these three approximation this is the p3 number p3 approximation okay so i can write here p1 equal to 6.5 and p2 equal to 6.75 and p3 equal to 6.63 okay hope you understood that one okay now we go to the part c of the question what is the c part of the question we need to do find the minimum number of approximation by bisection method for finding the root of the equation on 6 7 and correct to 2 within 10 power minus 3 correct to 2 within 10 power minus 3 means the error number correct so what how many number of approximation so c part i am doing here what is the rule for that n greater than or equal to len absolute b minus a divided by e all divided by len 2 correct so once we are entering what we are getting equals okay len of absolute b number 7 minus a number 6 divided by e number i told you 10 power minus 3 divided by len 2 okay you will get this number from your calculator equal to 9.97 using three digits rounding correct 9.97 but we don't want 9.97 we need how many approximation correct how many approximation integer number we needed so 9.97 means take the next number 9.97 what is the next number 10 correct so how many approximation computer will take for getting the solution 10 approximation that means what is the meaning of that one p10 is the solution correct p10 is the solution that means p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 10th approximation is the solution of that equation so uh, you can see minimum number of approximation by bisection method is n equal to how much we got 10 approximately we will get 10
so this is the question uh, from bisection method now we will go to the next question question number seven find the first approximation find the first approximation p1 of the solution of the equation f of x equal len x plus sin x minus 1 okay by newton's method choosing p0 equal to 1 p0 equal to 1 what is the first approximation that is the question okay so what is the rule for p1 in newton's method p1 equals p0 minus f of p0 divided by f dash of p0 f dash of p0 now okay just to calculate the derivative on the beginning so that you can do question easily what is the derivative of the function f dash of x equal len x derivative 1 over x sin x derivative cosine x minus 1 derivative 0 no need to write correct now we will go to the p1 p0 minus f of p0 we need to calculate separate f dash p0 we are calculating separately on this side okay so first we are going to calculate what is f of p0 okay f value at p0 what is f of x len x plus sin x minus 1 now replace x by p0 number f of p0 p0 number is 1 so len instead of x put 1 p0 number plus sin x means 1 minus 1 now separately calculate using three digits rounding check what is len 1 check what is sin 1 then minus 1 separate so you will get equal to len 1 using three digits rounding 0 plus sin 1 0 0.841 minus 1 totally you will get equals minus 0 0.159 okay now f dash of p0 f dash value at p0 number what is f dash of x 1 over x plus cosine x now put x number as p0 number 1 over x number is 1 p0 number that is 1 plus cosine of 1 check separately by using calculator what is this number using three digit rounding three digits rounding equal 1 plus cosine 1 0 0.540 calculator should be in radian mode don't forget equal 1.54 okay now when we are applying here p1 equal to what is p0 1 minus what is f of p0 minus 0 0.159 divided by what is f dash p0 1.54 so calculate equals 1 minus 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 it become plus correct this number you can check it three digits rounding so 1 plus you will get 0 0.103 so totally you will get 1.10 this is the p1 first approximation to the solution of the equation this is the approximate value so that you can call p star approximate value of the solution of the equation okay i hope you understood how to calculate now we will go to the eighth question find the tyler polynomial p2 of x find the tyler polynomial p2 of x for the function e power x plus x minus 2 all power 2 about x not equal to 1 then approximate f value at 1.12 okay so what is the rule p2 of x you remember p2 of x equal f of x0 plus f dash of x0 divided by 1 factorial x minus x0 plus f double dash of x0 divided by 2 factorial x minus x0 power 2 p2 second degree polynomial okay now what we need to do we need to calculate what is f of x0 separately f dash x0 f double dash of x0 these three terms separately on the top i am doing 
what is this three number so first what is f of x what is f of x in our question e power x plus x minus 2 whole power 2 correct so from this just calculate what is f of x0 what is x0 in our question x0 is 1 correct so put x0 equal to 1 in f that means x equal to 1 so e power 1 plus x means x0 number 1 minus 2 power 2 check by calculator what is this number getting okay you can use the calculator e power 1 shift len 1 correct so you will get 3.72 3.72 now after that calculate the derivative values f dash of x equal what is the derivative f dash of x e power x derivative same as e power x plus x minus 2 power 2 derivative 2 multiply x minus 2 correct now f dash value at p0 x0 number sorry x0 number equal x0 number is 1 so e power 1 plus 2 multiply x number means 1 minus 2 you can check by calculator this number you will get 0 0.718 okay now we will go to the second derivative f double dash of x equal okay what is the derivative again one more time find the derivative e power x derivative same as e power x plus 2 same x minus 2 derivative is 1 correct x derivative is 1 2 derivative is 0 so x minus 2 derivative is 1 now f double dash at the point x0 equal x0 means 1 so apply 1 here in second derivative e power 1 plus 2 multiply 1 so what will be the answer getting 4.72 now apply these three number in p2 of x so p2 of x equal okay first f of x0 what is the number f of x0 here we have 3.72 plus f dash x0 0 0.718 divided by 1 factorial okay x minus x0 what is x0 1 plus f double dash of x0 4.72 divide 2 factorial x minus what is x0 1 power 2 correct i hope you understood now see each term take it separately like this this is the first term this is the second term and this is the third term if you are putting like these boxes it will not confuse okay now once you got just simplify one time okay so equal first number is 3.72 same plus you can check this number in your calculator 0 0.718 divided by 1 factorial same 0 0.718 multiply x minus 1 same plus now check this number in your calculator 4.72 divided by 2 factorial correct it is 2.36 all calculation three digits rounding okay multiply x minus 2 power 2 this is the value p2 of x p2 of x equal to okay now in the question we need to approximate we need to find the approximate value correct approximate f value at 1.12 using p2 of x approximately equal to correct so what you need to do just substitute x value equal to 1.12 here x value 1.12 here okay so that you can check what is the first number become 3.72 plus what will be the second x number 1.12 0 0.718 multiply 1.12 minus 1 plus 2.36 2.36 multiply 1.12 minus 1 power 2 correct 
check separately three digit rounding first number same 3.72 plus second number you can check by calculator this number plus the third number you can check by calculator totally we can add after okay so for second number you will get 0 0.0862 third number you will get 0 0.0340 okay now totally when you are adding you will get equal to 3.84 this is the approximate value of f of 1.12 i hope you understood uh, this question okay we need to go to the ninth question now question number 9 consider the equation f of x equal what is f of x f of x equal 2x power 3 plus 12 okay by show that this equation by newton's formula can be written as pn plus 1 equal to 2 times pn over 3 minus 1 over pn square using newton's formula can be written as what is the newton's formula using for pn plus 1 pn plus 1 okay pn plus 1 how can we write that one P n plus one equal just before number. P n plus one before means P n minus f value at P n divided by f dash value at P n. Correct? We did many question like this. You can check my recorded classes before in uh, two point two section. Okay? So P n plus one equal to P n minus f of P n divided by f dash P n. now what we need to calculate we need to check what is f of pn and what is f dash of pn separately correct so first we are doing what is f of pn f value at pn number that means in f of x replace x by pn wherever x coming write it as pn f of pn f of x x number become pn so two times this x we are writing pn power 3 Plus twelve. This is the meaning f of p n. Okay. Now same way calculate what is f dash p n. So first calculate what is f dash x. F dash of x. Find the derivative of f of x here. Two x power three derivative six x power two. Correct. Twelve derivative zero. Now just calculate what is f dash at p n. That means. Replace x by p n. Wherever x coming, write it as p n. So six multiply p n power two. X square means p n power two. Correct. So we got what is f of p n, and we got what is f dash of p n. Now we apply here. So p n plus one equal p n minus f of p n. We did on this side to p n power three plus twelve. Divided by f dash p n, you can see on this side six multiply p n square. Don't forget to put the bracket here on the top side because this minus is common for both the terms. Okay. Now what answer we got? Already answer is there in our question. This answer we need to get it when we are calculating p n plus one. Correct. So we need to simplify this one. We will check that answer we are getting or not. Equal p n. Minus sign distribute to the bracket. Minus multiply first. Minus multiply second. Correct. So minus multiply p n power three. Minus multiply twelve minus twelve. Same time divided by the down also six p n square. So divided by six p n square. Divided by six p n square. Both the term we divided by that down term separated. Okay. Now, what time we can uh, uh, cancel? We can check it. Six p two p n power three divided by six p n power two. Correct. Two p n power three. What is the meaning? P n power three. P n multiply. P n multiply. P n. That is the meaning. P n power three divided by six. P n square means six multiply. P n multiply. P n. Correct. This is six six p n square. So P N P N cancel P N P N cancel P N square we can cancel both sides. So what will be balance? Two P N on the top side, six on the down side. Again we can cancel one two correct two and six. These two and six how many times? Three times. 
So, you can write what is the balance now getting equals P n minus this term P n square we are cancelled balance is 1 more P n on the top side divided by 3 balance ok we did on this side that one minus last term same 12 divided by sorry we can cancel that 12 and 6 correct this 12 and 6 we can cancel how many times it will come 2 times correct 6 and 12 here 2 so we can write 2 divided by p n power 2 2 divided by p n power 2 i hope you understood this one correct 2 divided by p n uh, power 2 now we will uh, go to uh, the simplification first two terms you can think about first two term which term is common in first two p n is common correct here also p n is there here also p n is there take it outside that one so we can equal p n multiply ok if p n taken common in first term only one remaining do not forget to write one minus second term what will be balance p n we are taken means one over three balance so one over three 3 now last term same minus 2 over p n power 2 correct equals p n multiply 1 minus 1 over 3 you can check by calculator it is 2 over 3 minus 2 over p n power 2 minus 2 over p n power 2 ok now so we started from p n plus 1 we go to this one now we can check see what answer you want 2 multiply p n over 3 minus 1 over p n square correct this is the answer we needed so 2 want to take it outside common correct so from here i am taking 2 taking common 2 multiply what will be balance first term one p n balance divide 3 also balance p n divided by 3 minus second term 2 already we are taken outside so what will be balance 1 divided by p n square balance this is what our answer correct 2 multiply p n over 3 minus 1 over p n square see 2 multiply p n over 3 minus 1 over p n square so it is like show that show that that means p n plus 1 when we are calculating you will get the answer this or not we are checking okay so we got the same answer so left side and right side both are same so this is what our question okay we need to practice like this question because it is theory questions okay now we will go to the part c c part of the question part c as i told you we have long answer type question question type uh, 10 the following table gives the viscosity of oil as a function of temperature temperature we are representing x letter x letter means temperature it is given 2 3 and 6 viscosity means we are representing f of x what are the number 2 k 158 correct first question okay this is the a part okay now what is the question construct lagrange interpolating polynomial p2 of x construct a p2 of x second degree type lagrange interpolating polynomial for the above data p2 x we need to calculate from here then after that using p2 of x using that polynomial from part a, one part a correct not part one part a find the values of k if p2 of 5 equal to 92 this is the question okay so first we will create the p2 of x okay a part of the question first we are creating p2 of x you remember what is p2 of x we are doing what is the rule l0 of x multiply y0 plus l1 of x multiply y1 plus l2 of x multiply y2 okay so we can write equal p2 of x equal easier way i told you put a line 
put a bracket for writing y0 plus put a line put a bracket for writing y1 plus put a line bracket for writing y2 first we are filling y0 y1 and y2 here y0 here y1 here y2 what is the y0 number in our question this is y0 y1 y2 correct this is x0 x1 x2 so y0 means 2 i can write sorry uh, i can write y0 is 2 here what is y1 k so i can write k here what is y2 158 i can write 158 here 158 here okay now we need to calculate what is L0, L1, L2. We need to write here. What are the now? Only we need to concentrate X, X number. 2, 3, 6. Okay. 2, 3, 6. This is X0, X1, X2. So first L0. L0 means what we do for L0. X0 number we are hiding. This number we are hide. Take remaining two number. 3 and 6. So X minus 3 multiply X minus 6 divided by hidden number substitute as x what is the hidden number 2 so instead of x replace 2 2 minus 3 and 2 minus 6 this is l0 plus now l2 l2 means x2 number we need to hide x2 means 3 correct so take 2 and 6 so x minus 2 multiply x minus 6 divided by hidden number that is 3 apply as x so 3 minus 2 multiply 3 minus 6 plus okay y1 plus k mean okay plus l2 l2 means x2 number 6 we need to hide okay so 2 and 3 we are taking so x minus 2 multiply x minus 3 divided by hidden number hidden number is 6 minus 2 multiply 6 minus 3 okay we did already more question you can check the recorded class for more explanation okay now just to find what are the down number for example here 3 my 2 minus 3 multiply 2 minus 6 you can check by calculator uh, what is that number and 3 minus 2 multiply 3 minus 6 and 6 minus 2 multiply 6 minus 3 you can take three digits uh, uh, rounding number for example first <coughs> 2 minus 3 multiply 2 minus 6 you will get 4 okay next one 3 minus 2 multiply 3 minus 6 you will get minus 3 now next one 6 minus 2 multiply 6 minus 3 okay you will get 12 there okay so here we can stop there equal to 12 now we are going to the B part. Together we can do B part of the question. What is the B part of the question? From part 1, use P2 of X. Find the value of K if P2 of 5 equal to 92. What is the question? P2 of 5 equal to 92. Okay. What is the meaning P2 of 5 equal to 92? when x equal to 5 that bracketed number p2 value p2 of x value equal to 92 correct p2 of x equal to 92 when x equal to 5 it's given apply here apply the previous step so this p2 of x just write what is p2 of x what is p2 of x 92 already given equal x number is what 5 so apply 5 so 5 minus 3 multiply 5 minus 6 divided by 4 multiply 2 down number already we calculated plus x number is 5 5 minus 2 multiply 5 minus 6 divided by minus 3 multiply k plus x number is 5 minus 2 multiply 5 minus 3 divided by 12 multiply 158 okay p2 value already given now keep it as separate boxes this is first term see this is one term 
this is another this one is another last one okay so simplify now use the calculator use three digit rounding so here 92 equal check the first two box what is the answer getting plus the second box what is the answer plus the third box what is the answer okay i hope you got here you got minus one here you can get it one multiply k k we cannot enter in calculator so k we need to find so one multiply k plus 79 last one correct 79 now you can simplify and you can find what is the k number so 92 minus 1 take to next side so plus 1 79 take to next side minus 79 equal to 1k means k so what will be the k number equal to 14 this is the question k equal to 14 i hope you understood that one okay now let me go, we will go to the b part sorry next question see here one or is there or means either you need to do this question or you need to do this question one of the question both are same model question only so i'm going to do second one which one you are feeling easy you can do that question okay so question that or part now i am doing sorry yeah now we will go to the or question okay first i am creating the table x number and f of x number what are the x number given in the question same question only apply lagrange formula find k p2 of 4 equal to 20 first f of 2 equal to 8 x number 2 y number 8 okay second number f of 3 equal to k x number is 3 y number is k similarly third one x5 y26 so i can write here 3 k 5 26 okay now p2 of 4 equal to 20 already given p2 of 4 equal to 20 question is find k k equal to how much okay so same like before question you can also practice that question so start from the rule p2 of x equals l0 of x multiply y0 plus l1 of x multiply y1 plus l2 of x multiply y2 now as i told you equal put a line put a bracket for y0 l1 y1 plus l2 y2 first i am filling y numbers first y number 8 then k then 26 from the table now l0 l0 means x0 number hide 2 number hide so 3 and 5 consider 3 and 5 so x minus 3 multiply x minus 5 after that hidden number substitute as x what is the hidden number 2 2 minus 3 2 minus 5 same like l1 and l2 3 hiding so x minus 2 x minus 5 divide hidden number is 3 3 minus 2 3 minus 5 same way l2 5 hide so x minus 2 x minus 3 divide hidden number 5 minus 2 5 minus 3 correct p2 of x now the down number for calculation purpose you can calculate here itself okay first 2 minus 3 multiply 2 minus 5 you will get 3 now check here 3 minus 2 multiply 3 minus 5 minus 2 now you can check here 5 minus 2 multiply 5 minus <coughs> 3 you can you can get it 6 okay now apply this condition p2 of 4 equal to 20 p2 of 4 equal to 20 what is the meaning of that one when x equal to 4 x number is that bracketed number p2 of x means 20 right side number is p2 number p2 of x equal to 20 apply this condition 
so what you will get apply here p2 of x this one p2 of x means 20 equals apply x number 4 so 4 minus 2 4 minus 5 divided by 3 already we calculated multiply 8 plus 4 minus 2 4 minus 5 divide minus 2 multiply k plus 4 minus 2 4 minus 3 divided by 6 multiply 26 okay now as i told you previous question separately you can check the number using three digits rounding as per given in the question this three so 20 equals first number you can check it second number three digits rounding third number three digits rounding first number you will get minus 2.67 second number 1 multiply k third number 8.67 now calculate you will get k number i am writing here k equals okay just to check k equals 14 i hope you will get it because 20 plus 2.67 minus 8.67 7 14 so this is the answer here we will get it okay it is clear correct now uh, we will go to the uh, last question question number 11 okay question number 11 let q of x be the nested form nested form of p of x equal to p of x equal to x power 3 plus 5 x power 2 minus 3 x plus 4.5 p of x evaluate q value at 1.89 using three digits rounding so first we are writing nested form q of x correct equal you remember what we did first three terms take one x common because x power 3 means x multiply x multiply x correct 5 x power 2 means what is the meaning 5 multiply x multiply x minus 3 x what is the meaning minus 3 multiply x third one correct so all these three term 1 x we can take it out like this okay so what is balance equal i am taken x out here what is balance x multiply x x power 2 plus 5 multiply x 5 x then minus 3 plus 4.5 same after that from first two terms again x common take it outside see first two terms so we can write first two terms i am taken x out so balance is x plus 5 okay only from these two terms first two terms okay so we will get all other terms same minus 3 same x same plus 4.5 this step we are calling nested form nested means bracketed form correct nested form or bracketed form now we are starting the approximation q value at 1.89 equals that means you need to substitute x equal to 1.89 so x number 1.89 plus 5 multiply x number 1.89 minus 3 multiply x number 1.89 plus 4.5 okay now one step one calculation first we are calculating 1.89 plus 5 what will be the answer getting you can write equals 6.89 all other terms remains uh, same okay all other terms same what are the other terms multiply 1.89 minus 3 multiply 1.89 plus 4.5 now again do next to two number 1.89 multiply 6.89 okay 
so that uh, you will get equal to 13.0 three digits rounding always careful 13.0 all other terms same what are the other terms minus 3 multiply 1.89 plus 4.5 correct now again these two 13 minus 3 you can check it it is 10 all other terms same what are the other term multiply 1.89 plus 4.5 now 10 multiply 1.89 this one okay that means you will get equals 18.9 plus 4.5 same now totally when you are calculating you will get 23.4 so this is the approximate value we can represent q star q means nested form star means approximate value nested form approximate value so this is the a part of the question now b part compute the absolute error using the exact value already given 23.4411769 okay exact value so b part absolute error a e means absolute error equal absolute p minus p star p number here we can apply already given 23.441 769 769 minus p star p star means q star approximate value you can write q star also same 23.4 absolute okay so when you are calculating you will get 0 0.041769 okay you can write three digits rounding uh, number also approximately like 0 0.041 8 3 digit first zero it will not count you know that one so this is the absolute error uh, from that question so first find the nested form evaluate after that compute the absolute error so this is the question here so this is the rough idea uh, from up 1.1 uh, up to 3.2 section the tutorial for our uh, mid exam we can use this one for other exams also uh, these are the modal questions okay I hope you understood the ideas, so you can practice more, thank you, thank you for watching, thank you very much.